I was wanting to come up with a way to make a cyclone separator that was a little bit easier than having to do some of the side connections where the pipe becomes tangential to the cyclone. Some people found that to be difficult to do. This is a very functional configuration and one that I think most anybody can do. And it's kind of fun. It has an interesting shape to it. You can't buy one of these. You have to make it yourself. To review how this works one more time, the job of a cyclone is to spin the material that we collect with our shop vac. The shop vac is connected to this pipe. It draws a vacuum on the cyclone and on the five gallon bucket this lid is sitting on top of. It's very important that we have a good seal between this lid and that five gallon bucket. The top of the five gallon bucket needs to be in good condition. Generally, this surface seals on the top of a five gallon bucket very well. The material that enters into the cyclone is induced into a spinning motion. The air velocity on this is very high. The speed of rotation is very high and centrifugal force slings the particulate matter and sawdust to the outside up against the walls of the cyclone. This taper is there to help maintain the speed of rotation as gravity pulls the heavier particles towards the bucket. As the particles separate from the air, the clean air returns through the center pipe to the shop vac and all the sawdust and particulate that we pick up with the shop vac hose ends up in our five gallon bucket. Clean air returns to the shop vac. No system is 100% efficient. This is 99.9%. .9 very, very little material escapes the cyclone. If you have a bag in your shop vac, that bag will last four or five years. Very, very efficient system and easy to build. The shape of the spiral is helping the efficiency of the cyclone. As material gets to this point and starts going around this sharp bend, centrifugal force is already starting to push the heavier material to the outside and separate it from the airflow as it enters the top of the cyclone separator. The use of a cyclone separator made like this, or like my first design, maintains the efficiency and lifespan of your shop vac. Any fine material which somehow escapes the cyclone enters a paper bag in your shop vac. The paper bag has a large surface area, collects the fine material, and keeps it from plugging the pleated filter in the center of the shop vac. This keeps the air velocity high, keeps the motor cool, and increases the efficiency of our collection hose. I spent three days building this. If I can build one of these in three days, you can build one of these in a week, ten days, easy. It's a good project, simple, very worthwhile. I've played around with this a little bit. I have a straight pipe sticking in there. This is five and a quarter inches long. I've got this marked off to four inches. So that's going to go into the cone four inches deep. I have a bucket of sawdust I took out of the table saw. And that's about seven inches down. That's still seven inches of sawdust. 